All right, live stream is on. If we could have the sergeants please start the recordings. PC recording has started. Okay, good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's re remote New York City Council vote on the Committee of Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing. At this time, we'd ask all panelists to please turn their video on for verification purposes. And to minimize disruptions, please place all electronic devices on vibrate or silent. Thank you so much, Chair Cohen. We are ready to begin. I'm going to place my phone on vibrate because I'm following directions. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Andrew Cohen, and I'm the chair of the Committee on Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing, at least until we pass today's legislation. Uh, I'm joined today by my colleagues on the committee. I'm going to have to enlarge my Zoom to figure out who's here. Let's see. I see Councilmember Ku, Councilmember Chin, Councilmember Yeager's out of his chair, but he's nearby. Councilmember Brannon. Uh, do I see? Am I missing anybody? Don't forget me. Uh, Councilmember Kozlowitz, right there in my in the left. I missed you. I'm sorry about that. I'll introduce more as people arrive. Today, we will be voting on proposed introduction 1609A that was heard last year by the request of the mayor. The Department of Consumer Affairs was first codified as an agency by legislation passed in 1969. Since that time, the department has acted as a vital advocate for New York City's consumers. As chair of the committee responsible for overseeing the department, I have been pleased with the different initiatives that the council and the department have been able to implement together to strengthen protections for New Yorkers, especially during this health emergency. In the short time that I have been chair, we have codified the provisions of the mayor's executive order relating to outdoor dining and extended the renewal time for many licenses and permits. We also enacted my bill 1916A, which waived all fees related to sidewalk cafes. In doing so, we've utilized our jurisdictional powers to provide what relief we can to the city's struggling small businesses. Today's vote aims to strengthen another facet of the department's focus area, worker protections. Since the passage of Local Law 104 of 2015, which established the Office of Labor and Policy Standards, or OLPS, DCA has, been, has seen its mandate broadened substantially. In addition to licensing and educating businesses on their obligations and protecting consumers, DCA is also responsible for overseeing the city's labor laws. It is encouraging to see the success of the department has already gained in securing restitution for workers whose employees, employers have violated the law, such as paid, sick, paid safe and sick leave and the Freelancers Isn't Free Act. The bill we are voting on today, intro 1609A, would formally change DCA's name to the Department of Consumer and Worker Protection, or DCWP. It would also consolidate OLPS and the Division of Paid Care within DCWP and transfer their respective legal powers to DWCP. Furthermore, this bill would allow the department to seek restitution as a remedy at oath, which it previously could only seek in court. We are hopeful that with this recognition, the newly named department will be able to dedicate resources to protect the rights of New York City's workers while of course still performing its role as advocate for the city's consumers. I therefore encourage my colleagues to vote in the affirmative on this bill. And I will now ask the clerk uh, to call the roll. That's you, Billy, I think. Is that you, Billy? Good morning, Good morning Chair Cohen. Billy's not yeah. available today, but uh, we will start the Committee on Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing's vote, July 28th, 2020 vote on intro 1609A. And Chair Cohen, we'll begin with you. I vote aye. Thank you. Council Member Chin. I vote aye. Council Member Ku. Aye. Council Member Kozlowitz. Aye. Council Member Brannon. Aye. Council Member Yeager. We didn't hear you. Council Sorry, no. Chair Cohen, with a vote of five in the affirmative, one in the negative, and zero abstentions, the item is adopted. Uh, I'm sorry, Actually, is that all the members of the committee? No, no can, we please, 
Can we please keep the vote open, jo Jonathan? We still have Councilmember Lander joining. Okay. Councilmember Lander has joined us, so we can call him now. Thank you. Councilmember Lander, to vote, please. I vote aye and apologize for the delay getting here. Brad, if you want me to repeat my opening for you, I'm happy to do it. Maybe I could call you. I'll just read it to you. I, I'd like a personal uh, reenactment, if you don't mind. No problem. Awesome. Chair Cohen, the revised vote is six in the affirmative, one in the negative, and zero abstentions. Okay, now I believe we have all the members, and I will, uh, I guess this will conclude uh, the committee of well, still consumer affairs until this afternoon. Thank you.